Welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Thank you for joining me. If you are not new, thank you for coming back. So I figured I would take you guys along with me on my work day. It is Friday, so I'm here at work already in the parking lot before I go in. It's a little bit after five. So yes, I am here. So if you guys uh, don't follow me on Instagram and did not see one of my most recent posts, I have finally been promoted to first lieutenant. A hey, level up, level up. So yes, making moves, super excited. Um, I didn't have like a promotional ceremony or anything like that. I actually was off on my five day pass which anything over four days, there's like this whole process where you have to come in in uniform, check in, sign this roster, blah, blah, blah. So anyways, I had a five day pass. Um, so I had been off during my actual day of promotion. So I was out chilling. Um, I had a facial or so make sure you guys check out my Hydra facial vlog. I had a massage like I was chilling. Um, I had my uniform in the dry cleaner so I could have my new rank sewn on, had my new rank sewn on my hat. This is a Velcro piece so this just pulls off and sticks on. So literally chilling. Um, so yeah, there was like no ceremony or anything. That's why you guys didn't see anything but I posted a picture. So yes moving on up in 2019 i told you guys this was the year we were grabbing by the throat do you guys remember that yes so anyways i'm sitting out here i was listening to two devotionals on the way to work by my daily bread which i've shared with you guys before i like to listen to those in the car in the morning or at night going home if i'm on night shift so yes, I'm sitting here, I have my bag, my lunchbox, that whole spill. You guys pretty much know my routine because I do a lot of these work vlogs. So I am going to get ready to go inside pretty soon and just kind of like take you guys throughout the day. I'll kind of vlog a little bit of what I can in the hospital. Um, try to catch up with you guys on lunch if I can, if it's not busy. And then of course talk to you guys after work. So yes, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And as always, don't forget to hit that big red button down below and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Make sure you're sharing my channel with your friends that are interested in nursing, possibly the Air Force, uh, NP school, whatever the case may be. And don't forget to hit the little bell so you get notifications every time I post a new video. And thought somebody was walking. And with that being said, I will talk to you guys later. Bye guys. my way to get something to eat for lunch um, discharge the patient that I had there so I'm operating as charged but I was uh, taking care of the patient just because I got to work early and I just wanted to go ahead and take report instead of waiting on the other nurse to get there because I don't like having the night shift wait just to give report when I'm already there you like on time like just go ahead and give me a report so you can get out of there 
um, regardless of the fact that I'm charged or not. So I had no problems taking the patient, plus they were getting discharged today anyway, so not a big deal. But yes, I'm going out to get something to eat, and I was going to sit and talk to you guys while I ate, but I'm actually going to pick up food um, for a co-worker as well, so I want to make sure I get it back on time. Um, so I'm just going to go to Popeye's and get something for myself and my co-worker who's actually never had Popeye's before so I'm like yo if I have to put this little white girl on Popeye's it's so funny but yes so that's where I'm headed to now and then um just basically gonna go back and chill out with everybody on the unit and eat my food so today's been going pretty well um you guys kind of saw a little bit of what I do when I get on the unit I like to clean my area pretty well just because it's grungy and nasty and people spill stuff, drinks come out and get sticky, germs are everywhere. Um, and then gathering supplies that I need out of the supply room. Just basically my daily routine. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to kind of check in with you guys since I won't be sitting here talking to you guys for a prolonged period of time. Like I said, I'm basically just going to pick up food and take it right back. But I will talk to you guys more in depth when I get home from work this evening. So I'm driving in the car, of course you guys know, so that's why the lighting is kind of going back and forth with the shadows. Just wanted to check in, hope you guys are having a good day, and I will talk to you guys later. <laughs> she said she couldn't do it herself. Okay, but somebody hold a chair. Yeah. Is she strapped in? Yes, I'm strapped She's in. She's about to be. Oh, I'm about to be strapped in. How are you feeling? Safe? I'm feeling very tight right now. This one sucks. That's for the stairs though, right? Oh, I'm not pushing her down the stairs. Yeah. A little bit, but not the whole way. So get as close as you can to the stairs, uh -huh. because this is going to hit the stairs. Okay. So just tilt back. Okay. Tilt back. And then we're going to go over. <laughs> so push it. There you go. There you go. Hi guys how are you so I'm just getting home I'm going to take a shower and crawl into my bed and relax so I'm super excited to be off for the next couple days um, I came home to a package from Amazon I'm super excited so I ordered a tens machine so like one of those muscle stimulators so I'm super excited to use that because when I get headaches a lot of times it kind of hurts in the back of my neck and down in my shoulders like my trap area so I'm really excited to use this um, once I get out of the shower I will open it up and show you guys so I hope you guys had a little bit of fun kind of looking into what life is kind of like for me at work um, so like I said I did have a patient earlier and then after my patient got discharged uh, we weren't expecting any more admissions because she was the only one, literally the only patient in the ICU. So then we kind of did like a little educational type thing with the striker stair chair. So um, I kind of had that recorded a little bit just so you guys can see like some of the fun stuff that we do just to kind of pass the time. So yeah, like I said, I'm back at home now and I will check in with you guys in a little bit when I start relaxing. I'm back. So I'm out of the shower. I cannot get over how my face looks from that hydrofacial. Like, I literally cannot. If you guys have not seen that video, make sure you go check it out. I will put it in the card section. Literally, like, dark spots are fading. Literally, like, about the hour, almost. So, I'm going to show you guys my little TENS machine. I actually had already peeped it out. But, um, I'm going to show you guys now. This is the little body. Right here and it's designed to be portable so this is it um, all of the little instructions and the spike had some you have little applicators here that go to your skin this is the little charger so these are the connectors and I have a couple different sets of connectors 
and then a couple different sizes of the applicators and these you can buy from the company or buy off of Amazon when you run out so these are single person use but they are good for up to 20 different uses so I have two of these and then I also even have a little smaller size here and this is what connects to the charging base and a little and then a little housing pouch and then a little larger set of applicators here if I wanted to do like some muscle stimulation maybe on my calf or my thighs or something so yes I am actually going to start weighing this now so I'm gonna put it together and then I'll come back and tell you guys what I think about it okay guys so I have it turned on now and there's a little timer in the corner so it started out on 20 minutes I've already had it on for a minute so this is the control panel so the M stands for mode so you can cycle through all six of these modes oh it's very bright okay so maybe I'll just leave it like this because if I turn the light on you guys won't be able to see it but if you click the M for mode it will cycle through every one of these modes which will give you a different sensation. So these top modes here will give you the sensation, um, kind of like you're laying down getting a massage to the muscle. And these bottom three will stimulate the nerve as if you're kind of like sitting up, so more of like a kneading. And then the plus and minus will increase the strength down here and this bar. So I'm gonna cycle through, because I've tested them all out and I actually like the one here in the upper left. So I've gotten back there, so you guys see it flashing, and I'm just going to kind of increase the strength a little bit. And then the T down here is your timer. So it's 30 minutes, 40, 50, 60, and then back to 10. So it can stay on for an hour, and like I said, it is portable. So I'm going to put it back to 20 minutes. And then like I showed you guys, I just have the little pads placed here on my shoulder. And then I don't even know if you guys can even see like the muscle stimulation already if you look right here how it's just kind of moving on its own so this actually feels really good and I got this primarily because I do have headaches and I get a lot of pain kind of right here like I told you guys earlier so what the heat doesn't alleviate this will kind of help with that muscle pain so I'm going to leave this on and just kind of wear it for 20 minutes and see how I like it. Hi guys, so I am in bed for the night. I have my TENS machine on. I have my humidifier on over here. So that's my new unit. I don't know if you guys seen in my other vlog, I had bought this bigger one that was from Canada. So I actually downsized and bought that one. So I have my oil going. It's a renewal oil that I bought from Pier 1. So I'm sitting here working on a discussion post for school. So yes, all of this will be comprised as one discussion post. Yes, go ahead and cry for me, you guys. All of this for one post. And it is like that for all of my classes when it comes down to discussion post. So what I like to do is write my post in a Word document. It's easier to save, formulate my thoughts, make sure my references are in APA format, and all of that. So yeah, this is um, usually what I like to do. Put them in a Word document and then make sure that they are saved. So that's how I work on them over time and then get them submitted before they're due. Um, so yeah, this is usually my routine, guys. Go to work, come home, continue with school, or on my days off, continue with school. So that's basically my routine. So hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog. I'm going to continue doing what I'm doing here and then wrap things up and go to bed. So uh, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Make sure you click the big red button down below that says subscribe. You can't miss it. As well as the little bell next to it so you get notifications every time I post a new video. Hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog. Leave me your thoughts and comments in the comments section. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!